Ah. Good morning, it's John Neal here. It's Thursday the 15th of February 2024 and I'm really excited because I've got a chance to go and view the major engineering works of the sewer line that they're putting from Hinkley to Hartsill. Great, let's go. Right, I've arrived at Wellington Lane Depot. I've parked properly, I hope. Uh, just go over to uh, reception. There we go. Well, it, the abandoned railway is running along there. Yeah, so yeah. We've got gravity pipe work coming along just the other side of that hedge line. Yeah. And then we're going to cross under the road here yeah. and pass all the way down there. And then it takes a bit of a dog leg right down the bottom. We'll yeah. drive all down there later. Yeah. Um, down to below Cowdcote Village. Yeah. And then under the River Anchor. So. Yeah. Right, we've got some. Hi. Hopefully this will all fit you. Right, should we do it? This is Mr. Bert Pickering, the 7 Trent project manager for this pipeline and he's very kindly offered to give me a tour of the site. And here um, for the storm water they're going to act as buffer tanks yeah. and then the left hand side if you see all that basically that wasteland that's going to all be profiled and created into big lagoons yeah and they'll all be naturally clay lined and everything like that so they won't be just big concrete tanks as such you know what I mean. I was so very impressed with this engineering work. We're using the pipe jack technique for the three times that we cross the A5, yeah. as well as under the railway. Yeah. And then we've got all the small water courses and um, we're using the horizontal directional drill, which you'll see a bit later on because we're currently doing it under High Jazz College Drive. If you actually look here, there's the gentleman the transponder, so see the gentleman stood in the yeah. gas college drive, he's got a transponder and he's walking with the head of the drill to track its height and direction to guide it to the right place the other side where we were at access point. Yeah, yeah. So this gentleman here has got a big, if you look, it's just put on a new shaft onto the drill. Yeah. So you'll start off with four inches, then you go six, then you go eight, then you go ten, then you go twelve, until yeah. you're big enough to then when you're at the other side, you can pull the pipe through the hole you've created. Sure. Oh, yes. See what I mean by it being offset? Yeah. Um, get a bit closer. So that's probably the final reamer, I'd say, before we then pull the pipe through. They all get all welded up because they wear away, so they just re-weld them. That's, that's those, those, the patterns on them. Yeah. Look a, a bit exotic. Yeah, yeah. But Aboriginal. Yeah. So using the one called an auger bore, we're on the disused railway and also the A444 we're driving on now. So yeah. that's uh, basically a big screw. It will draw. draw yeah drive under the road and yeah. it'll be done while the road's still open and uninterrupted as yeah, well. Yeah, so, that's uh, good. yeah, and then the pumping station is being built over there. Yeah. And then so the plastic pipe work will come along that edge down here and then it'll go down the shaft and along the tunnel and then it'll come up the other side at well we call it access point three but that yeah. where the TBM is just on the edge of the A5. Hey up. Yeah good view. There you go. There's one of the tunnels. <laughs> it's like a mini Euro. You know like how they did the Euro tunnel? It's basically a mini version of that. Probably the best way of describing it. Look, on the back end of here you've got a thrust wall. Yeah. So basically the idea is, you see we've got the rings for the tunnel here. Yeah. So what happens is they've got like a basic loop at the front on the outside of the yeah. surface. And you'll slot a ring in behind the TBM. Yeah. And then you'll push the TBM with the ring. And then once you've done, you've pushed it the length of the ring, you then uh, pull the jacks back, put another ring in. 
again and push again. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. That's the idea behind it. <laughs> but we'll start at Hinkley Works because we're building a big pumping station at Hinkley Works as well as we've already started laying the um, concrete gravity section there. Yeah. Um, and then also from yesterday, we start, not from yesterday, from Monday, the, another contractor started on site to build the new um, storm treatment wetland there. So um, part of the reason we're transferring to Hartsill Sewers Treatment Works is because Hinkley um, basically discharges into a really small watercourse. So yeah. the detriment onto the watercourse is far greater. Um, so to improve the Sketchy Brook, which it currently dishes charges into, that goes through Hinkley, yeah. um, we're moving it to a bigger works like Hartsill, where we can do a lot more of an industrial treatment process and make the water quality better. Yeah. Um, so that's the plan. But what we're also going to do is, in rain scenarios, instead of it directly discharging into the water course, which I'm sure you've seen in the Controversial. press. Controversial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, we're basically building a big wetland solution there, which is basically, we're going to have four massive big lagoons full yeah. of plants and... I'm with you, I know them. Yeah, yeah, so it's it's one of the first in the country, I believe. I, I don't really have much to do with it. It's a colleague that looks after wetland. But, um, so the idea is, instead of it discharging straight into the water, Course, it's going to discharge into the wetland yeah. and those plants are going to take all the bad stuff out of the sewage and hopefully mean that we're going to have a lot more of a better effect on the local yeah. environment sure. that's the plan yeah, so, right. so for instance with Hartsill sewage treatment works um they're doing they're spending as nearly as much money as this transfer is costing yeah. on expanding the works oh, it's nearly yeah. i can't remember i think it's nearly about 50 percent larger in capacity than what it currently was and yeah. that's to take obviously all the growth in the Hartsill catchment so that's all of Nuneaton and yeah. Hartsill village and stuff like that and then also the flows which are going to come from Hinkley as well so yeah. it's going to be a far more of a robust solution there as well but like accumulatively between the wetland the transfer and the expansion works at Hartsill it's well in excess of over 120 million pounds of investment so from plastic, twin plastic pressurised riser main. Right, got yeah. Into gravity. I've got, yeah. So it'll gravitate all the way from the right hand side of this roundabout as we look at it now, yeah. all the way down to a new pump station we're building at Caldecott Village. Um, so where it's rising main, the other side of the road on the left, we'll come back once we've been to Hinkham, we can actually drive down the hall road and see it yeah, being laid, because yeah. they're currently laying it down there. But that's pressurised all the way from Hinkley Sewer Stream Works all the way to this roundabout. Wow. And then this will be pipe jacked, probably, uh, I don't think the depths are completely finalised, but between eight and 10 metres deep yeah. under this roundabout diagonally. And is this major works because of um all this housing is that a factor involved or is it just uh... majority pretty much the majority of it is due to improving the quality of the sketchy book that's right. the main driver oh, okay. yeah. yeah for the whole job yeah if i'm honest so um and obviously you're at um none eaten and hartsill catchment growth yeah so which must be considerable because there's all these houses yeah yeah, yeah yeah thousands of them. well a lot of this all it, it seems really stupid but how the network works a lot of it will be pumping to Hinkley Works and then joining the transfer at Hinkley Works and coming back. <laughs> coming back yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> So you can 
see sort of just the raised part, that's where the two pipes are now in the ground. Yeah. Um, I'm hoping we can show you the bucket they used, because we had a specially made bucket made that was the exact profile of the trench, <laughs> so that we could um, do it in one scoop almost. We've got a special um, bucket that's um, designed for that exact shape. See the joint? Yeah, there's a joint, yeah. So you basically you mount... Yeah, we're going to get too close no, no. to the edge. Um, you, basically, we mount both ends yeah. with a big hot plate in the middle. Yeah. And then you lift out the hot plate and push them together. And then they um, cool down together and fuse. Just weld, weld itself together? Yeah, you might be able to spot it. Yeah, there you go. So that's yeah, got fusion wells. Yeah. From 13 and a half kilometers. Really? Yeah. I, I didn't mean mind it was less than that. No. Yeah. So, so yeah, it's um, it's about four and a half to five kilometers of gravity, and then the rest is rising main. Yeah. So. Total cost? Around. <laughs> All three of them together, it's north of 120 million. Wow. So that's with wetland transfer and yeah. the expansion works at heart. So. Yeah. And so what's happening at Hartsell Works? That's so that's all expansion yeah. and improvements to the treatment process. So yeah. Hartsell, they're going to they're expanding it for all the expansion that's obviously going on in that catchment with Nuneaton and Hartsell, and then also the flows which they'll be receiving from Hinkley. Tell me a bit more about those um, wetland areas over at Hinkley. That's fascinating. That yeah. So we're trialing. It's going to be sort of on this scale anyway probably one of the first in the country where we're going to um going to treat the storm effluent so i'm sure as everyone's aware currently in the news the all the water comes into the country and get a bit of a tallying off <laughs> yeah, yeah, for, yeah, um, yeah 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 discharge yeah. the water course so what we're trying to do is eliminate that really so we're going to um build a big wetland at hinkley um in the space available so that in a storm event all that effluent goes to big lagoons basically yeah. and it's all treated through a natural solution with plants and trees and stuff like that and yeah it's what size was it again it's i think last time i saw a design it was about forty thousand square meters right so but yeah um it's going to be a big old big old thing yeah and to, and you say the pipes are going to be working at the end of this year yes yeah, so we've got an obligation date to meet of the 21st of december so yeah. that's where flows will be on fingers crossed but, um, but all the other works still yeah so we there'll be now. like we'll probably have to wait until the drier <laughs> months in 2025 for reinstatement of topsoil and stuff yeah. like that um but yeah it's hopefully the majority is going to be done in this year to be honest so uh, how many people are working on all those do you think it's a good question. I'd say north of a hundred. Yeah, gotta be. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah north of a hundred. Yeah. We've got a lot of, a lot of gangs. We've got six gangs on the gravity pipe work. We've got a gang on the uh, rising main, and then we've got four, five, six tunneling gangs as well. So. And so, of all those projects within this big project, which you think is the most challenging? Well, I'd probably say my one, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm responsible. Do that, for, yeah, that one. Yeah, so I'm well, yeah, indeed, it's a big... It's the stakeholders course. as well. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's probably the um, most challenging part about this job because we're crossing everything under the sun. Like, we've got network rail, canal and river trust, highways England, 
um, EA with all the water courses we're crossing. Yeah. Um, and about, I think there's just shy of 30 landowners yeah. as well. We've obviously some have got developments and stuff like that as yeah, well. Yeah, so the logistics of coordinating yeah, yeah. all those people. Yeah. yeah, and obviously, as everyone I suppose has seen in the last couple of months, the weather has been yeah pretty diabolical. But go, go on, so uh, but of the uh, the civil engineering, which is the most challenging, you think the tunneling? Um, yeah, tunneling in the gravity. That's the um, yeah biggest challenge. It's like plastic with it being pressurised. You're not. Um, you don't have to be as not accurate is probably the wrong word but it's not as temperamental to delay yeah. shall we say yeah. um, and it's not as deep excavations either so. yeah. yeah it's um, especially with gravity as well you're doing two and a half metre lengths instead of 12 metre yeah. so it's a bit more time consuming yeah sure and you've got to get the levels bob yeah. on so you've got the fall on the gravity sections um but I'm going to finish it there. So um, thank you no, no, right. <laughs> for this Anytime. opportunity. It's been Anytime. really useful, informative, and I should do my best to pull all this stuff together. <laughs> no, and maybe and come back in a couple of months' time and see how it's gone. Yeah, on. yeah, and present it to uh, the the inquiring public. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah, see. It's a see how much of a grilling I get. <laughs> no, not at all. It's uh, it's terrific, and um, it's great opportunity to find out. Um, well, yeah, no, so and if there's any questions yeah. that come out of it, all you got to do is drop yeah, them in. Yeah, well, they'll, they'll be in the comments underneath. Yeah, exactly. They'll be able to do that. Yeah. All right. Excellent. Thank you no very much. <laughs> uh, big round of applause there to Mr. Bert Pickney from Seven Trent for giving us that fantastic tour around the pipeline that's taking his feet to Hartford. Thank you very much indeed. And uh, if you've got any comments and any further questions that I can put to Bert later on, then put them in the comments below. Otherwise, you will see me in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>